When you see the prayer flags, you know you're close. Just beyond the White Buddha, past the Lotus Pond. Through the trees, you catch a glimpse of a rustic stone building with oddly shaped windows and rough wooden posts. It's easy to imagine you're in the Himalayas, but you've arrived at Shangri-La on Staten Island, the Jacques Marche Museum of Tibetan Art, one of New York's most unusual cultural treasures. Modeled after a Buddhist monastery, this intimate museum houses a spectacular collection of extremely rare Himalayan art and artifacts dating from the 17th century. The museum is also a center for the celebration of Tibetan traditions, where visiting lamas give teachings, children's authors give readings, and sand painters give demonstrations of their art. There are modern photography exhibits, a rare Bhutanese sand mandala preserved under glass, and tours of the terrace meditation gardens. The museum was built by Jacques Marche, a New York socialite who became fascinated with Tibetan art in the 1920s, when Tibet was virtually unknown to the West. She designed the museum not only as a home for her collection, but as a hilltop sanctuary, situated near the highest point on the eastern seaboard. The museum opened in 1947 and continues to follow Marche's original vision. The entire setting, the museum, the gardens, really provide a peaceful retreat for people to visit and relax and to step away from the stresses of their everyday life and enjoy a peaceful place where they could reflect on nature or reflect on the Tibetan art. Marche's biggest regret was that she never got to visit Tibet. Some Tibetans, however, have come to think of her museum as a home away from home. When you go there, you feel like you're sort of going, uh, kind of like, it's like a little window to Tibet meaning you're not in Tibet, but suddenly that's where you find a window through which you look at Tibet. Going there, uh, to me, is essential. <laughs>